In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a pop art. Once you have your image on the working area, make two copies of the background layer by dragging it down to the copy option, or press Ctrl J on a Windows or Command J on a Mac. Hide the second copy layer for now. Then select the first copy layer, go to Filter, then Filter Gallery and select Poster Edges under the Artistic tab. Keep the edge thickness 2, the edge intensity 1 and posterization 2. Now, click OK. Next, we will add two white pupil reflections. So, make a new layer. Go to the toolbar and select the ellipse marquee tool. Make a small circle to fit in the pupil. Now select the paint bucket tool or press G. Fill the marquee area with white color. Make a copy of this layer. Select the move tool and drag the pupil reflection to the other eye. Now merge down both the pupil layers to the first copy layer by right clicking and selecting merge down or press Ctrl E twice on a Windows or Command D on a Mac. Now we will add a border. To do this, right click on the copy layer and select blending options. Click on stroke in its properties. Change the color to white. Make the size 23 pixels and position inside. Then select inner glow from the blending options. Change its color to black. Change the blend mode from screen to normal. Make the opacity to 100%. Also increase the choke to 100% and size to 25 pixels. Then click OK. Now, unhide and select the second copy layer. Go to Filter. Pick Slate and Color Halftone. In the properties change the maximum radius to 6 pixels. And let the screen angles be on their default degrees. Then, press OK. Then go to the blending options and select Soft Light. Now, we will add a talk bubble, so create a new layer. And select Custom Shape Tool from the toolbar. Make sure to select pixels from the upper menu panel. Then go to Shapes and select any shape you want. In this case, I will choose Talk Bubble 6. After creating the Talk Bubble, you can select the Move tool to reposition it. Next, right click on the Talk Bubble layer and select Blending Options. Click on Stroke. Make the position inside, and size to 4 pixels and then click OK. If you want to flip your talk bubble, go to Edit, Transform and select Rotate 180 degrees. Now, I will add text to the talk bubble. Go to the toolbar and select the text tool. Just press on top of the bubble and start writing. I will change the font style, you can use any font you like. Now, select the move tool to reposition your text. To change the color of the text, highlight it and click on the color options. For this text I will use red. Now click on the effects button below, and select stroke. Then, check on drop shadow. Keep the distance to 13 pixels. And angle to 86 degrees and press OK.
Next, right click on the text layer, and select rasterize type. Then, right click and select merge down. And, there, you have a comic pop art converted from a normal image.